And that's why the Etch-a-Sketch may be here to stay. <laughs> uh, on to the nightly news. Oh my god. Uh, um, okay. Uh, breaking news. President Kennedy has been shot in Dallas and as of a few minutes ago was declared dead at the scene. And I'm getting another bulletin from my producer which says, I must stop smiling, yes. <laughs> Transparency is my responsibility. So it would be wrong of me to deliver this momentous news to the American people without noting that one time, uh, after a correspondence dinner, President Kennedy struck up a conversation with my mother. <laughs> we hit it off with her and then led her, giddy and giggling, to the Rose Garden where they proceeded to take each other over and over again <laughs> in the shadows of the rose bushes. And then Kennedy told her to call him, but gave her a phone number that was obviously fake. So while part of me wants to say that President Kennedy would appreciate a moment of silence for the nation in mourning. Uh, the other part of me wants to say, you should have thought of that before he fucked my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it would be profoundly un-American for me to say that I wanted this to happen, but after uh, Lee Harvey Oswald, age 24, I'm probably the second least sad person in America. <laughs> <laughs> Now, sorry, obviously, um, President Kennedy died too soon, by which I mean it probably wasn't slow enough. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Personally, I'd always pictured something involving a lot of little bee stings. Now, I'm seeing a lot of <laughs> horrified faces in the studio right now, which I do not appreciate, because they didn't have to watch my mother well into her 80s at the time. <laughs> Dial a four-digit phone number once a week for years, and then spend the rest of the night crying to sleep on the couch when JFK didn't call her back. I went to Kennedy at the correspondence dinner and said, Mr. President, did you just fuck my mom? And Kennedy just went, You tell me. <laughs> I figure a lot of people watching tonight might not like that I did that just now. But to them, I'll say, hey, imagine how I felt! When she died, her last words were, tell John I'll be waiting. <laughs> My father, Randall, turned to me and said, Who is John? <laughs> I'd like to speak now uh, directly to my father. <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> Walter's gonna make it right. Okay, I'd like to speak now directly to my wife. Uh, honey, if you could put the kids to bed in the other room, and then chill the bottle of Sonoma County Chardonnay from our anniversary. <laughs> I'd like to speak now directly to Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy. Man, I am so sorry to hear about your son. If you ever want to talk about <laughs> get anything off your chest, uh, I could totally uh, meet you in the White House Rose Garden with a chill bottle of Sonoma County Chardonnay <laughs> and like some massage oil. I, I don't know, do we want to say 8.30? And I'm getting another bulletin that says, I'm fired? Okay, I'm fired. 
Good luck finding another hot person to be on TV. <laughs>